Hi there, I am making this video for academic institutions back home, which is Assam, in Northeast India. First, a little bit about me. I was born and raised in Assam. I became a teacher in 2016 and I have taught in a few different places since. I moved to Glasgow, Scotland during the COVID pandemic, did a few odd jobs in Glasgow as a student, came to London in 2023, been teaching in London ever since, but I've had other jobs in London as well. Having taught the English language in London using the communicative approach, I have found a lot of differences between the teaching techniques used in London and those used in the traditional classroom back home. I was a student in India for about 20 years. This includes 10 years of schooling, college, and two university degrees. Now, whenever I go home, I try to teach a few classes in academic institutions of Guwahati, but many of the emails I sent were ignored. I assume they were left unopened because you can always reply to my email saying that thank you for contacting us but we do not hold such single specialized classes in our institute. That would be the professional thing to do but I never got any reply. I understand maybe most official communications don't happen over emails. Hence, this video is an introduction explaining my plan. This will be uploaded to YouTube and a link to this video will be included in emails I will be sending again this August. I hope both teachers and students will watch this video and accept or reject my proposal to teach a class. To the staff members, I hope the following specifications will be met. 1. The class size should be 12, ideally, or between 10 to 15 students, for convenience. 30 students should be divided into two classes of 15 students each, and 20 students should be divided into two classes of 10 students each. 2. The duration of the lesson should be between 2 to 2.5 hours. Decreasing the time or increasing the class size won't allow me to teach effectively to the individual students. I had mentioned this criterion previously when I taught in Assam, but somehow ended up teaching classes of 25 to 34 students. A class size of 12, it seems, was dismissed as a mere suggestion. So, I am emphasizing this point. I will not be teaching a class that doesn't meet these two criteria. I mean to teach a class, not deliver a lecture. I will make the students speak, engage, and interact with classmates, which requires adequate time for each student to get a chance. 3. If any teachers wish to observe my class, I need to know before I plan the lesson. This has happened before. I was teaching a class and gradually teachers came in and a peanut gallery of sorts formed at the back of the classroom. And they spoke with each other, distracting the students. This has also happened. A teacher comes in and starts talking to the students in a language other than English, asking them about the class during the class. It undermined a rule I made to use only English during class. I don't mind someone observing my class, but there is protocol to be followed. I need to know how many observers and the time and duration of the observation should be discussed beforehand. I would offer CPD sessions, which are basically teacher development, where I would be happy to share some of the skills I have learned. But from what I understand, teacher training doesn't really happen back home, not for teaching English anyway. 4. The class has to be in person, not online. 
Now, I am willing to travel because teaching any language over Zoom or Teams is not that effective in my experience. These are the rules for the staff and organizers. Dates of my availability and my contact information are mentioned in the description. So if the proposal sounds good, contact me by email and I will forward my CV which will include my job experience so far and references from previous employers. Now, this is a rule that applies to both staff and students. The students must be of B2 or C1 level in terms of CEFR proficiency. CEFR stands for Common European Frame of Reference. To the students, my class is not for everyone. 1. You can find out your level online. Google B2 CEFR English Reading Passage or C1 CEFR English Reading Passage and check if you are lost while trying to read through. 2. My class will be on spoken English, so be prepared to think and speak during class. I have picked spoken English because I think that is the weakest part for students back home due to a lack of practice. I'll repeat, my class is not for everyone. I reserve the right to send you out of class if you are constantly using any other language except English during the class. I get it. It's reflexive to fall back on your first language when you are trying to communicate effectively. Moi ohomia kobo paru, ami Bangla bolte pari, or me Hindi bol saktam. And I am happy to use any of these three languages before the class begins and after the class ends. But during the class, I will only use English. So I expect my students to do the same. 3. My class will be for serious students who really want to improve and are willing to put in the work. If you plan on studying abroad in the future, or working abroad in the future, or working in an international setting within India, if you are planning to take English proficiency exams like IELTS or TOEFL, or if you just want to know how English language is taught in London, my class is for you. If you don't want to attend such a class, if you are not interested in learning English, you are interested in learning something else, that is fine. Please don't feel an obligation that you have to sign up for the class. If you are not interested, don't let someone pressure you into signing up. 4. After the class, there can be a Q&A if anyone has any questions about studying or working abroad. I studied in Glasgow, Scotland from 2021 to 2022. And after graduating with my second master's degree, I have been working in London. So, I will be happy to answer any question I can. Well, that's the plan. Check the description for details about my availability. If you are a staff member, teacher or admin who likes the plan, share this video with students so they know what will be expected of them. If you are a student who likes the plan, tell your classmates and teacher and tell your teacher to reach out to me. Details in the description. I hope my plan bears some fruit and I hope students will find my class helpful. When I was a student in Assam, I would have loved to attend a class from someone who had taught English in London. So, now that I am a teacher, I would like to extend the opportunity to the next generation of students to learn something from me, hopefully, and ask any career-related questions at the Q&A after the class. Institutions contacting me for CV and references should provide an official email ID with an institution domain name.
which means if you are a staff member, kindly contact me from an official email address, not Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. I can teach anywhere within Assam or even institutions in Meghalaya, where I taught the last time I was home. This time I am implementing a sign-up system because last time it was compulsory attendance decided by the teachers in the school, which meant students who don't really want to learn the English language were stuck in my class just for the sake of attendance, which was not helpful for anyone. I'll repeat it. I'll reiterate, my class is not for everyone. I do understand our education system is outdated and has many quirks, and we all have to work around them. But hey, I like transparency, so I made this video for everyone involved to know everything, kind of. If I missed any variable, it will be mentioned in the description. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. So. I hope to see you soon. I should be available from September to November in Assam and Meghalaya and I should be in Delhi in December. Thank you for watching.